Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about how to connect your third party application with Zoho Creator or any other Zoho service. If you visit Zoho.com Creator Help API V2, they have the OAuth authentication overview. On the left side, you'll find that they've given the steps. First, we need to register the client, then request the authorization code, then generate tokens, and then refresh the access token. So these are the four steps that need to be done to connect with the Zoho Creator service. So first, we need to register the client. To register the client, you first need to go to the Zoho Developer Console. If you're building an API for your Zoho account, you can use Self Client. If you're providing it as a service, then you can choose one of the others. For now, I'm going to use Self Client and click on Create Now. So it has given me the client ID and the client secret, so I'll store it. The next step is to request the authorization code. First, we need to enter scopes. Scopes are the permission sets to perform these data API operations like add records, get records, etc. I have a list of scopes from Zoho Creator. So it's zohocreator.form.create, zohocreator.report.create. So if you visit their website, API v2, they have the Zoho Creator scopes that tells us all this. So I have used all these scopes in a comma separated format. All right, I'll take this, use it in my self client, give a description, create. Now it's given me a code, but this code is valid only for three minutes. So we'll close this pop-up and we'll generate this code again when we request refresh token. To generate the access and refresh tokens, we need to use this request URL and access it by the post method. We first need to generate the base accounts URL. So this base accounts URL varies according to your data center. If you're from US, it'll be accounts.zoho.com. If you're from Europe, it'll be accounts.zoho.eu. If you're from India, accounts.zoho.in. And for Australia, .com.au. So it's important that we're aware of all this. So in my case, I'm using US data center. So I will be using accounts.zoho.com. Okay, so let me take out everything else. So I'll store it in a separate variable. So it'll be base account URL. And for the service URL, so instead of accounts, sorry, it's accounts. So instead of accounts, we will just use the Zoho service we are accessing. In our case, it would be creator. So if you're accessing another service, you can use like CRM or books, etc. Let's put this in another variable token URL. Now we'll replace this accounts.zoho.com with base URL. We need to pass the client ID, just stored it from our self client. And we have the client secret. Then we have redirect URI. Redirect URI doesn't matter in our case, so I can just put it as localhost. So this is the code we need to use from this API console. Whatever code we get, we'll use that code. For now, I'll just put it as an empty string. Let me create a function to generate a refresh token that's going to take in the URL and perform the curl operation. This is my curl script. It's going to access this URL in the post method and store the result. I can just print that result. Now I can generate code, copy it, use it right here. Now let's call this function and the URL will be token URL. Now let me access this local page. Okay, so just like they said here, so it's going to give me the sample response, access token, refresh token, API domain, all that. So we have this access token. We can use this access token to perform Zoho Creator operations, but it expires in an hour. We need to refresh this access token or use a new access token after an hour. So to get a new access token from this point onwards, we will use the refresh token. I'll store it in a refresh token variable for this demo purpose. And I don't need this access token for now. I can use this access token too, but for now I'm going to skip it. We'll follow this article to generate the access token using refresh token. We'll copy this URL, put it in a new variable called access token URL. We'll replace base accounts URL with base ACC URL. We have this refresh token generated from our previous operation. We'll take it 
and put it right here and we have client id from our self client client secret we don't need generate refresh token function anymore i'll rename it as generate access token and comment out the generate refresh token copy it and pass access token url in place of url and then rename refresh token to generate access token refresh our page now i get access token and it expires in an hour now we have got this access token this is how we refresh the access token over and over again we'll use the access token to add a record to zoho create a form let me create a function create record is the function name to add a record we need to look at add records api document this is the request url we'll use this go to our function we'll create a new variable service url and paste this request url so we need to use this paste url which is creator.zoho.com in my case i can use this in php we can access this using globals we have this account owner name if we access our form we can see our account owner name right at the top so here's my form url and ruben a o b r c that's my account owner name and i'll use that right here we'll also copy app link name and form link names from the urls contact php v2 that's the app link name contact that's the form link name now we need to pass the form fields name and email as json objects before that if we look at the help document we have to pass the header with the access token i'll copy the header script and put it in our code so instead of this we'll use our access token we'll get back to it later for now i'll put it as access token just for our reference next step is to pass the field values here it says sample input to add one record so we'll copy this sample input and replace it with our field values it's a long list i guess it's now going to be under a data key and the list of fields like email phone number name and everything we'll take everything out and keep just the two items email and phone number now we'll have to replace phone number with name because that's our field name enter some values for name and email i'll convert this into a php array next we'll generate the header array we'll get access token as a function parameter and use it right here now we'll write the curl script to pass this data and header to that service url here's my curl script to post everything all i'm worried about is the curl opt url curl opt post fields and curl opt header so for the curl opt url i have this service url i'll put it here and the curl opt post fields it'll be json and code of data and curl opt header is my header array now we'll call this function and make sure this access token has a value for that i'll store the output of this generate access token in this access token variable i'll also modify this generate access token function a little bit so that it can return the access token for me i'll also write a script to print this zoho creator response so let's refresh this page it says access token is invalid okay let's just see what we did wrong let's print out our access token as well we're still getting the error so i'll alter the header array a little bit and then try again we're still getting the error so after researching a little bit i found out that in our header array along with the authorization we also need to pass this content type as application or json i'll pass that and then i'll try again Okay, if I refresh my page, I get the access token and I also get a success message from Zoho Creator. If I refresh my report, I see the newly added data right there. To recap, we created the service URL, a data array with field values, and then header array with access token as well as content type as application or JSON. Alright, if you have any questions, comment down below or send an email to zoho at aorbrc.com.